I tried to make Minecraft in one hour. Yeah, sure, it's the most popular game of all time, but it's just a bunch of cubes at the end of the day, right? I will be using Unity to make it, which I've only used once in my life for a video I made a few months ago, so I'm sure it's gonna be easy. I don't have much time, so let's get started. Okay guys, making Minecraft is really simple. All you need to do is add a block, color it green, duplicate it a few times, and click play. Oh, this makes things a bit difficult. So as you saw, we think of Minecraft as a world made of blocks. But the thing is, generating like a gazillion cubes is very hard for most computers. And it's also really wasteful given that you only get to see the outer shell of these blocks. You're not really seeing all of these faces. So what we have to do is go block by block and only render the faces next to an air block. If the face is next to another block, then we just don't render it. So after 5 minutes of intense coding, we were able to render a cube. Oh boy, this is gonna take longer than I thought. Right now, things look quite boring, so let's fix that. Nice, now it looks like Minecraft. Oh, did you think I was gonna work on terrain generation? Fine. A little bit of coding and... Oops. There we go. Blocks as far as the eyes can see. I know it looks boring, but before we start adding mountains and valleys, we need to understand how Minecraft generates worlds. Loading in a huge world is very difficult for computers to do, and it's very wasteful because if you're standing here, you can't even see the stuff here. So Minecraft uses something called chunks. You basically take the map and cut it up into a few sections, and each section is a chunk. Now you just have to generate a few chunks around the player and it gives them the illusion that the world exists without blowing up their laptop, which is nice. So after 10 minutes of coding, we have a world which loads when the camera gets near and disappears when it goes away. Okay, so right now the earth is flat, just like in real life. But Minecraft has a diverse array of landscapes, so let's add some mountains. To do that, we can use Perlin Noise. Perlin noise generates these patterns of black and white, so we can use the black parts to denote the valleys and the white parts to denote the mountains. So let's code that out. And looks like it works. Thank God. Let's take a look at how much time we spent. Oh. 40 minutes. Yeah, that, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, gotta go fast. Um, let's add some blocks other than dirt. And let's add some rules for where blocks should go. And from this cross section, we can see random blocks at various depths. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, I haven't been walking around the map. So let's try that. Oh. Okay, so I fixed that and everything seems to be working. Damn it! Okay, now it works and we can enjoy the amazing scenery. Okay, enough wasting time. We need to add and remove blocks because without that it's just a walking simulator. All we need to do is see where the player is looking and find the first cube in the player's eye line. Then we regenerate the chunk based on whether the user added a new block or removed it. Okay, so I coded it out and let's see if it works. It works. Nice. Guys, check this out, I made something very cool. I probably spent more time on making that than on making this entire game. Okay, so I did everything I wanted to and it only took... Um, let's, uh, let's ignore that. So I had accomplished my goal of making Minecraft, but the world still seemed pretty empty, so I decided to add trees. Ah, 
After 30 minutes of trying to make some trees, it finally worked. Ah, uh, look at this tree. So beautiful. Looking at it makes me think of just one thing. Deforestation. Lastly, I wanted to add one thing which nobody can live without. Validation from strangers on the internet. I mean water. I added water. But before that, I needed to make a few changes to the shaders in Unity to add realistic lighting. Well, this is terrifying. Ah, that's better. We now have realistic shadows and lighting which you can even see in this cave. And then, after hours of searching, I finally found the H2O I had been looking for. I was able to walk on it but let's just ignore that. So that's how I made Minecraft in one hour. This wouldn't have been possible without the help of some tutorials and guides I used so I'll link them down in the description below. Feel free to check out this video where I turned Minecraft into cool paintings using AI or this video where I taught an AI how to beat Squid Game. Now if you'll excuse me, I just realized that if I had made this 10 years ago, I could have been a billionaire so I'm gonna go and cry.